I thank every one of you. I'm always inspired by the, uh, young ones. Actually, I was more convinced to come not for anything else, but to see the young ones, our young children, and to show them that no matter what position we hold in life, particularly me, even if I become a pres the president of the Gambia, if I'm invited to speak to even three young Ugandans or three young uh, Rwandese or whoever, inshallah, I'll be able to come. The, re the reason why I'm doing that, the purpose of my visit, of course, is to come and celebrate our father, um, His Excellency uh, Julius Nyerere, who had a vision, not only for Uganda, but for Africa, which is African unity. They fought tooth and nail just to ensure that they had the vision and they really supported the vision of Africa becoming one. You come to Gambia as a Ugandan, you must feel African, just as I'm feeling African um, coming to Uganda. Um, here we salute them because of leadership. Most of the challenges we have in Africa is, is leadership. It's rather not the people, but leadership. And leadership cross across the board. It's like gender, it's like environment. When you talk about women, women is everybody's business. You talk about environment, it's everybody's um, business because women are mothers, they are our sisters, they are our friends. The environment is also where every one of us lives. So these are things that are very important. I'm here to share the little experience that I've had, I've lived throughout my life. And the experiences are anchored on my inspiration to be one of the people who would champion the advancement of Africa, who will contribute towards the advancement of Africa, and particularly inspiring young women who, by either religious or cultural barriers, are still lagging behind. Um, that's 